And that's what's wrong. That's what can be wrong with any martial art, whether it's traditional, or yeah. modern, or anything, any kind of rigidity in it. And, and Wing Chun is not made to be rigid, rigid right? So when you start sparring with someone, do not start like this from over here. Do not start and then just move around and be ready. No, you're freeze framing something that is supposed to be done while you're, it's an action. You're yeah. freeze framing an action. Okay, and this is not how, Wing Chun is all about actions. When we're taking, this is a Mon Sao. It's an asking hand. It is not a static thing. To ask is to take action, right? So if you're here and you're waiting for someone to come close and keeping your hands like that, that's just, it's wrong. Yeah. And I'll tell you exactly how I fight with my traditional martial art. I'll tell you. I'm fighting, like you're back here. I'll tell you right away, I'm here. Uh -huh. I'm here like this, my hands are down until I need it. Now, is that exactly how everybody needs to go about it? No. It's meant for interpretation, or interpretation, self-interpretation, right? So if we're, we're here like this, right? But then once something comes up, sure, boom, right? Then I'm all over that person. But back here, you have to be, you know, you have to be mobile, you have to be evasive, you cannot be here, right? right? People don't understand that. And then once you get into a certain place, then it's about structure, constant forward energy to that person. Um, if you feel pressure on that line, get off the line, take a new line. These are simple things. These aren't complicated things, but people are getting wrong the simplest things in the world. It's simple. Don't make it complicated. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to click the bell icon to be notified as new videos get uploaded. And they're waiting to, uh, I see a lot of people waiting for the touch to happen. They, oh. they, they feel like they, they have to be in contact before they can fight. And that's, a, that's, a, that's a problem. Yeah. They have to be in contact. Oh, let me go ahead and, yeah. and yeah. link first. <laughs> Wing Chun does not require a forearm bridge in order to be effective. But there is no desire to link, there is a desire to hit, right. and then continue on from there, a desire to do that. Yeah. Um, so, like for- I've, I've known Wing Chun guys that have said that. They said, look, you know, we can start a fight, but we have to be touching first. It's like, well- That's awful. <laughs> that that cool? is awful. <laughs> if you need to be touching in order to do anything, then you can't fight. Your Wing Chun is not supposed to only be used once you have contact on the bridge. That is not how Wing Chun is meant to be. That, of course, when you get contact, you do have a different sense that we develop, a tactile awareness, but there is also visual awareness that you must use and you must drill and you must spar with, okay? I'm telling, this to people because people are getting it wrong. People are uh, just not understanding the simple little things. It is about you understanding that Wing Chun is actually amazing. And what you are seeing out there is overall crap. And we're talking about 90, maybe 95% of it out there. Mark has had a lot of different uh, experiences in other things, done Wing Chun previously with another Sifu, done Jeet Kune Do, um, done Hapkido. Taekwondo. Taekwondo, he's done a lot of these different things. Mm -hmm. Would you add anything? The other thing I would say is, um, uh, there are a lot of people that will tell you, only need to know how to fight on the ground because that's where the fight's gonna go. So, problem with that is, <laughs> you're on the ground. <laughs> what, you know, uh, what if the person has friends? What if there's glass or stuff? What if it's, you know, what if there's stuff on the ground? What if, uh, what if you're committed to this one person? And, you know, what if um, the, all these other rules don't have to apply, right? I would say that I don't, I don't believe that fights uh, need to go to the ground or end up on the ground or should be on the ground? There's a lot of propaganda that's been put out there to promote different martial arts and 
hey, uh, I guess you know people have to make a living to do what they do. And I'm not putting down any martial arts. That's not the purpose of this. But um, I honestly believe that you do not have to train on the ground in order to be very effective in self-defense. And I say this based on my personal experience. I have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts as my students. I have people that have wrestled in college that have been my students. I have many grappling people that are my students. And what they understand based on their personal hands-on experience with me is that it isn't what the perception of what you might think Wing Chun is based on what you see on YouTube or all these different things. It's not that at all. So I almost want to call what I do not Wing Chun, something else. But that would be not true. In, honest, in honesty, this is Wing Chun. This is how Wing Chun is supposed to be used. It's supposed to be used in a fluid manner, not in a rigid manner. So again, when you start with things, you do not start like this or like this from a distance. You would start with an action. The action is to ask. And remember the question that you're actually asking is, are you going to let me get to your center or are you going to let me hit you? Keep that in mind all the time. And please, spar, hit, get your mouthpieces, hit each other in the chin, hit each other in your sparring, pressure test. Don't go and do a number of of, of drills here from, from a static position all the time. That has its place, but it cannot be regarded as where you're learning your stuff. This is not the only place. You need to learn your stuff here too. You need, in the outside, I really believe in head movement because that's how you're going to learn how to spar other people. Sparring is of the utmost. We must hit be hit, be okay with being hit, be okay with somebody else hitting. The other thing I noticed is a lot of arts are very much, I do this, you do this, when they go to do their sparring, right? Okay. So it's kind of like um, someone throws this. Right. And then, or, you, or you'll leave a hand out, and then they'll do their technique. Um, That's not real. No. That's not fluid. I, at some point along the way, Wing Chun, who, it, what, Wing Chun's supposed to be like water. Right? That's where it's a, it's a, you know, it's an art about fluidity. It's supposed to be there. Somehow along the way, people's Wing Chun has, has become fluid, um, not fluid, rigid, very rigid. A rigid mindset and a rigid approach to things. One such rigidity is this, having this here. And then the other thing is they've started to bring a concept-based art and start to, started to do technique-based stuff. Not sure where this came from. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe people got a little Wing Chun, didn't really understand it, and then they're trying to teach it. Probably that's the case. You know, people got a little bit of it. No, this is cool, and then I want to uh, teach it in a technique, mm -hmm. a technique-based mindset. That's not how it's supposed to be. This is a concept-based art that's all about dominating the other person's center. It is not a matter of you do this, I do that. <laughs> you do this. Oh, let me think about what I should do. Hang on. Okay, let me... Do this, cool, all right, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, come around, oh, good, good. All right, stay there, stay, hang on, hang on, stay there. All right, let me get behind here. All these different things, these preset patterns or, and things like that. Oh, my, um, bah, bah. Right? None of this stuff is gonna work. What works is immediate, immediate tacking to the center. Make it simple, make it work. Um, I am extremely confident in my Wing Chun. Does that mean that I don't wanna get better? No, there's another good thing about Wing Chun. Good Wing Chun is that you're constantly getting better and you're constantly working to be better at what you're doing. But I'm, that doesn't mean that I'm not very confident in what I do. I'm extremely confident in my, what I do. In fact, I'd put my Wing Chun up against pretty much anyone. And that is why I honestly believe that I can help other people because I am so confident in my Wing Chun. I've experienced it firsthand, pressurized with it. And you gotta step away from rigidity. You gotta step away from trying to do the original Wing Chun. 
hell with the original Wing Chun. That doesn't matter. What matters is its essence. What matters is its core. And the core of Wing Chun is about efficiency, being in, operating in the present, being precise. Um, there, you know, these things are what it's really about. And when you start to understand how structure works, you can then have your, um, your, the hard of the structure, the iron of the structure, and then the fluidity of, of, of the yielding approach. This is what makes Wing Chun work. And you can't sacrifice one or the other. Balance is hard, I know, but that's what people are doing. People either don't have enough structure or maybe they are too rigid, one of the two. Um, so that's my rant. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and be sure to click the bell icon to be notified as new videos get uploaded. Get more free how-to videos at learnwingchun.com.